From 1951 to 1967, with the exception of 1964, the Philadelphia Eagles called Hershey their summer oasis. For the fans and children in Chocolate Town, the access to the players was a dream come true. Um, kids would wait outside for them on their way to practice. They would carry their helmets and they would walk from the community building to Hershey Park Stadium, which I can't imagine ever happening today. <laughs> for nearly 16 years, the team connected with the people of Hershey, putting the word community into the community building. There's all these stories of kids going there in the evening and playing games with them. There was a swimming pool, so there was lots for them to do. Ernie Accorsi, former general manager of the New York Giants and Baltimore Colts, was one of those youngsters. He said seeing his football idols was a sight to behold. They were huge. I mean, you know, to you, to just a kid. And the other thing, they were so fit, so muscular. Although they were legends, Ernie said they were never too busy to pay their local kids some attention. I don't ever remember any kid being blown off. I mean, they would sign autographs even on the way to practice. Sometimes they would say, look, I got to go, you know. And then but afterwards, they would sign, practice, sign autographs. And, and um, so you had a personal touch with them. You had your favorites. Ernie says even he got to step on the field with them. Although head coach Jim Trimble wasn't too open about it. So I'm out there helping them collect the balls, put them in a big ball bag. And here comes Trimble. Wh who are you? I said, I'm helping Jimmy Warfield. He doesn't need any help. Get out of here, okay? So I don't move, but he gives me a playful boot in the rear end. So I start to run, and he's chasing me down the field, giving me, you know, a boot. The summer always finished at Hershey Park Stadium. The town got to see exhibition games involving the Eagles. The, the highlight of the preseason was always the Colt game because the, the Colts would bring a lot of people from Baltimore, and most of the stadium was filled with Baltimore and Philadelphia, and there were fights. Ernie says sometimes he took this whole experience for granted until he saw the players on the TV. What brought you to reality was that the fall would come and you'd see them on television playing the Cleveland Browns or the New York Giants. And uh, so you, you knew how big a deal it was. Tyler Hatfield, Fox 43.